how do you run Linux on a toaster like this? Well, the obvious method is that you boot DOS and then you boot Linux. So let's see this in action. Um, okay, let me quickly insert my boot pen drive here and start the scrap -uter. And we should see the DOS boot screen in a moment. And as you can see, this is your regular disk operating system and as it happens uh, there is a very nice Linux bootloader that is a DOS program it's called it's called loadlin and you give it uh, the kernel and the command line as a parameter so the kernel in this case is Linux 2.4 and the command line is basically initrd equals uh, and the initrd file is uh, mini rt 24.gz and it's loading the Linux kernel into memory and now it's loading the RAM disk into memory and while this thing is gonna be toasting here and trying to boot itself let's take a look at the hardware because in fact I've got two of those uh, two revisions as it appears this is the older version it's uh, grey and it has this uh, winter logo on it this is the newer version on the right you've got the older version the grey one and on the left you've got the white version so the main difference between the old one and the new one is uh, well really they appear to have redone a little bit of the layout but the general idea is the same uh, how can you tell this? Well, the chips that are the same on both versions have the same numbers. So this is U3, this is U3, this is U9, this is U9, etc, etc. Uh, it's a normal PC like any other. 128 megs of RAM, everything you need to run a Windows NT or Windows CE thingy. Well, apart from those, the power supply section is redone a bit, so they've moved all the uh, all the elements on the front side of the PCB well this one has all the stuff being either here or on the other side well they run of 12 volts uh, apart from the VGA out for the monitor they have a serial port and a network port 4 USBs in total and some sort of a sound card arrangement <laughs> I don't know why would you even need a sound card on something like this Cut cut. Alright, so DSL has actually booted the small Linux. Uh, it's asking us whether we need to set up the X server, but we don't need that. Mm, not that it would actually run on this thing. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it just started the X server and well, it obviously does not work. Yes, fatal AO error. That's a very good start. And let me plug in the network cable here and run uh, the DHCP client ok so it's got the IP and yeah we can go online on a BBS So as you can see that's BBSing from a very small AMD Geode based toaster. Mm. Oh, just for the sake of it, let's see what does it say in prod slash CPU info. Yeah, mm. model name CX486DLC, some kind of a uh, AMD Geode job. No, vendor ID Geode by NSC actually. Well, that's interesting. I haven't taken the heatsinks of this, so might be a national semiconductor as well. 360 megahertz. Uh, the embedded operating system inside. Stuff looks like a custom Windows NT job. So I'm gonna shut this thing down, unplug everything, network, remove the pen drive. Now, we, if we start without the pen drive, and by the way, uh, if you want to get into the BIOS, you have to hold the delete key and turn it on. Oh, wait, I actually took it. Oh, come on. 
and that's all she wrote when it comes to the bias. You can set the password. Oh, you can. You have to enter the password first. Change the boot order. Generally, that's the only important part. Uh, let's take a look at the embedded operating system, which more or less uh, just starts a custom script and doesn't do anything much without probably the rest of the ecosystem. Yeah, so that's uh, this is it. I had a poke around around this thing and it looks like Windows NT based something. So that's all when it comes to those tiny computers. They are of limited usability. It's possible to script uh, those uh, dents I did. You just write an auto exec or whatever. Uh, why is it running DOS first? And why can't you run a normal bootloader? Well, I have no idea why, but both SysLinux and the Grub didn't work. SysLinux would hang or would start and not. Uh, the keyboard wouldn't work, group wouldn't start at all, at some um, configurations it would fall into a boot loop. 